you may have heard of the Japanese Kintsugi tradition. Unlike most of us, when a vessel is broken, Japanese take them Kintsugi artisans without throwing them off. The Kintsugi experts gather all the broken pieces and mend the areas of breakage with powdered gold, silver, or platinum. Then, the broken vessel becomes more beautiful, stronger, and even better than the original. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, no matter how broken we are, no matter how fragile we are, God can mend us. And in the Gospel, we encountered a person whom God mended even more beautifully in spite of his dark side of his life. That is Peter. Today, we listen to the last chapter of the Gospel of John. St. John, as a prolific writer, has interwoven his gospel systematically from beginning to an end. And in the gospel, he gives prominence to the metaphor of light and darkness. And in the first chapter of John, he says, the light shines in darkness, and darkness did not overcome it. And in today's gospel, we heard the appearance of risen Christ at the Sea of Galilee. And we heard, they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. They were in darkness. They were away from the Lord, and they failed to recognize Jesus. After the death of Jesus, the apostles went back to their usual occupation as fishermen. With the miraculous catch of fish, they recognized that it was Jesus. Then Jesus asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? From the person who denied three times during the Passion narrative, Jesus asked the same question, Peter, do you love me? With that, Peter came to the true light and Jesus mended broken Peter. Then, he became stronger and effective. In the first reading we heard, when the high priests questioned Peter and apostles, they replied, better for, better for us to obey God rather than to any human authority. The person who denied Jesus three times now spoke of Jesus fearlessly and tirelessly. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, as Jesus mended Peter, God can mend us in spite of our darkness. He can mend us in spite of our brokenness. And at some point of our lives, we have gone away from the Lord and we are in darkness. It may be due to a death of a loved one, addictions, broken promises, broken relationships, or family issues. In those moments, think of Peter. Just as Kintsugi artisans can make the broken vessels more beautiful, God can mend us. When we are in darkness, when we feel that we are not worthy enough to go back to the Lord, 
Think of Peter. God gives us another opportunity because God wants to mend us. God wants to give us light to our lives. As Peter allowed Jesus into his life, as Peter allowed Jesus to have breakfast with them, let us allow God to come into our lives and to enkindle us with his light so that God can mend our broken pieces and make something new and beautiful.